Hello and welcome back to the Eden Tamir Music Center in Jerusalem for another series of driver double bass videos. Today's video is devoted to double stops. When we have two notes, the higher note should get more bow. For, for two notes to sound equal, the higher note should get more bow. Now, when we play double stops, this is, of course, impossible. So the rule is that the bow should move at the speed of the lower note. This is the rule. When we play double stops, the bow should move at the speed of the lower note. How can we make sure that the bow actually moves at the speed of the lower note? Watch my bow now, and you will see that when I tilt the stick towards me, so that the stick is higher than the hair, watch what happens to the bow. The bow suddenly hits the G string. Now I'll play the D string again and tilt the stick down, away from me. You see it goes to the lower string. So when we play, there is no way we can actually calculate the speed. But we can prefer the lower string by tilting the stick one way or another. So if I play this double stop here, I tilt the stick away from me when I play the double stop. Listen to the difference between this and this. Again. The bow automatically prefers the lower string when I tilt the stick down, that the stick is parallel to the floor or even a little lower. Of course, there is one exception. What happens if the higher note is on the lower string? For example, here. Here I have to tilt the stick towards me. So this would be the right position of the stick. In this case, where we have the lower note on the higher string. The lower note is on the G string and the D is a harmonic, it's a fifth. So I need to tilt the stick towards me. To be honest, I have to confess that I never ever use this technique for anything else, only for the double stops. I don't use it for string crossing, I don't use this technique of playing with the angle of the stick for anything else. Now see how this applies when we play for example the, the double bar in the sarabande of the first cello suite. We have this again this chord with watch my stick how it changes the angle towards the string. And here we have it again. I'll do it again. In. Here again. So remember, when the low note, you always tilt the stick according to the low note. If the low note is on the higher string, you tilt the stick towards you. And if the lower note is on the lower string, you tilt the stick a little bit away from you. This will give you the right balance of the chord. Uh, usually, we practice double stops playing a scale, any scale, 
we can do Two things I would like you to remember. One, we practice double stops because there are, we have them in the repertoire. They are in the repertoire, but we also practice double stops for two other reasons. One, to develop our intonation, and two, not less important, to develop our sound. We can really get a beautiful sound on the double stops. And <laughs> rich sound. If you remember the trick I showed you today with the stick, getting this beautiful sound becomes really easy. And like everything else on the bass, playing the bass is either easy or impossible.